Hi there Leo, welcome back to Wild Lotus Tarot. Leo, this is going to be your intuitive weekly tarot reading for August 3rd through to the 9th. Leo, let's see what's in store for you. As I'm shuffling out the first oracles, the beautiful Work Your Light cards guys, I just want to let you know of a tarot channel that I've recently uh, started following and um, connect with connected with the lovely lady who runs the channel. Uh, it's Karmic Evolution Tarot Starseed and her readings are just very nurturing and loving and positive so you might want to go and check her out. We very much believe in you know lifting each other up. We are trying to share the same message here and we're not in it to you know collect the most subscribers or views or anything like that. So head over and um, Give her a listen if you feel called to do so. Okay, Leo, let's get your let's get your message out. Oh, Leo. Oh, dance with life. Do something to change your energy. This for me is a couple of things. Sometimes, you know, when we are kind of feeling a little bit stuck or stagnant, a little bit of kind of hanged man energy or or even four of swords, sometimes we need to change something, to shift something, to move the energy through our body. And it's amazing how, you know, when we make those little shifts internally, how things begin to shift on the external level as well. This card also reminds me of the dancer in the world energy, which is that big card of cyclic completion. And it's about knowing when to let go and to move with effortless flow into the next chapter of our life without holding on, without contracting our energy. So let's see what else comes out, Leo. Going to the yogic path deck now. Niyamas. Now Leo, Niyamas is a card of yoga. It's one of the eight stages of yoga and it's about the laws of personal observance. And it says here that you are at the beginning of reaping the rewards of inner transformational work that you have done. So, you know, it says that you've kind of let go of what needs to let go and now you're making space for all the good things to come in. I'm thinking very much, you know, the Knight of Pentacles who plants those seeds and has the patience to wait for them to grow, to reap the harvest. So that's a really beautiful energy. Let's see what the tarot story has to say for you, Leo. Oh, <laughs> look at that, guys. It's the only one that flipped over was the Four of Swords, which I was mentioning about that uh, letting go energy. Sometimes if you feel stuck and stagnant, it's the message to get back into the dance of life. So the tarot is saying, Yep, that's true. Just giving us that little divine confirmation there that sometimes we need to shake things up in order to get movement back into our lives. Okay, let's start at the beginning. Recent past energies leaving, completing or transitioning for Leo. What may they may be currently journeying? Recent past energies for Leo. We've got the Six of Swords and the Two of Wands. Yeah, I mean, look at this, guys. Definitely at the crossroads, may maybe moving away from something to move towards something else. Let's see what else comes out. the current or focus energies please for Leo. Cards are a little quiet today Leo. That's not like you Leo. <laughs> Usually hear your roar. There we go, Three of Swords. Yeah, look, you might have been moving on from a situation that has caused you some pain. You're at the crossroads here, but, um, you know, when the Three of uh, Swords, sorry, comes into the reading, 
it's like you still are processing some of that. It can take a lot of time to process the, the sadness, the hurts, the disappointments of a situation if it was quite a significant one in your life. I've got the Four of Pentacles here. Yeah, which I mean, it can be that feeling of feeling a little bit stuck, of holding on quite tightly. And I'm coming back to this Dance of Life Oracle card and we were talking about that stuck energy and we have it in the Eight of Swords here as well. You know, it's time to loosen that grip, to let go and um, to embrace surrender in your life. It's, it's really interesting because, just a personal story here, um, it was about a year and a half ago, actually, just when I started my tarot channel, that I made a very conscious decision to live my life with surrender to what is. And it's amazing what shifts from that point. Sometimes when we're trying to hold on, we're trying to push things, you know, we are met with a lot of resistance in our lives. So the tarot is saying it's time for you to, to step into effortless flow, to surrender, to release, and to accept what is. And that's when you're going to shift onto the new path. Let's clarify, Leo. And since I made that decision, my life has just moved forward at pace, guys, like the chariot. Okay, we've got the King of Swords here. Yeah, bringing that vision and clarity. The situation, let's clarify the Three of Swords. Six of Swords again. Yep, time to move on from the hurt. I know it's um, we've got to experience it and move through it, but we don't want to sit in it. Let's clarify the four of pentacles for you, Leo. Sorry, I feel like I was mumbling a little bit there. I'll try and speak up. I think it's this one. Temperance. Yeah, absolutely, guys. Temperance, the great soothing energy after that big cyclic completion of the death energy. I'm going to include the two that also jumped out to the side with that because you know what they are, guys. The Nine of Cups and the Ten of Swords. Completion to move you towards your wish fulfillment. Yeah, some beautiful cards here, Leo. Let's read this story. Okay, Leo, so in your recent past here, we have the Two of Wands, the Six of Swords, and the King of Swords. Now, just keep in mind you've got the Six of Swords twice in this reading, so it's a really pivotal uh, message for you, and what it's saying this week is keep on moving forward. Don't look back, keep going, because I think that you have moved on from something in the past, and I feel like it has been the energy of, of the death card, right, which doesn't mean obviously physical death, but it's the death of a cycle in our life. Now, I know that because the temperance energy is in this reading, and temperance is the major arcana that follows on from the death energy, so you're being asked to step into the rebalancing period, the healing period, which I see you are, but there still is some kind of sitting in the energy of what has been lost, so, you know, that death energy comes in to clear the slate, to move you towards your highest purpose, and it's an inevitable kind of transformation that you've been going through in your life. And I do feel that you have, you know, obviously moved, you've been moving on from that, you realize that you're moving into a place of greater harmony, leaving behind maybe the emotional roller coaster that was in the situation that completed, be it in romance, be it in work, it is a general reading, guys. Um, you are being asked, though, to try and leave the swords of the past, the baggage, the hurts, the harsh words, the, the, the limiting beliefs, whatever you journeyed in that situation. If we can leave that in the past and carry on with an empty vessel rather than taking that with us, that's when we really you know, move into these calm waters, the smooth sailing and the peace in our lives. Because there is a new path opening for you, Leo. Two of Wands. And the Two of Wands, want, sorry, <laughs> the Two of Wands, getting a bit excited, um, it shows somebody who is still attached to the past, but is clearly assessing the future. They're in life review, they're at the, the fork in the roads. However, I see, Leo, that you have a firm grip on that Ace of Wands. You know, I think that you are, you're more engaged now with the future path than the past. But in the Two of Wands, we see somebody who is still in their tower, right? They are still in their comfort zone, their home, their safety. And the Two of Wands asks you, Leo, you know, can you step beyond your safety in order to go forth onto the new path? 
because there's a sense that maybe you know you're in the in-between at the moment things haven't quite um, crystallized with what that forward direction is but you do have an understanding that there's limitless possibilities for you and you know that there's you know an abundant um, you know opportunities fertile pastures greener grass out there for you but it asks you this card to take a leap beyond the comfort zone in order to start obtaining some of that and that's where the king of swords comes in because the king of swords is a card of great vision and clarity and it's about seeing the big picture view and it's when we see the big picture view that we can kind of understand you know where we've journeyed from and where we might be heading to and having that kind of hindsight to connect the dots to understand why we've been led to where we are now and from that vantage point you can really make you know strategic decisions on how to move forward in a really victorious way so you know it's saying to you don't look back Leo keep moving forward keep the big picture in mind and uh, yeah disconnect with the, from the hurts of the past Because we've got a little bit more of the same message in your focus energies here. Three of Swords and Six of Swords again. What I like about this particular Six of Swords card is look at this person here. They're kind of that. There's a sense of freedom and surrender about this posture. This is the person who has released, who has let go, who is going without the baggage and you know moving forward from those swords into the the new future and yeah I mean you might not know what is waiting for you Leo look it's all all kind of smoke and um, fog here however you just know that there's nothing in that past situation for you anymore and you might be still journeying the heartbreak the disappointment the sorrow the sadness the despair but what I do love about this card is that that really tumultuous time in the in the grieving or healing process where it's all tears and it's all the towers fallen and we're really feeling all of that that is the first step of the healing process I feel like you guys have journeyed that part but I feel like it's more of a still sitting a little bit in the sadness and the what ifs so it's asking you this week to move on from that and begin thinking about the new path and creating a new future number three I mean this is the three of swords it's about sorrow sadness and heartbreak but it's also about manifesting something new because it says once you've got rid of all that and you've started to process all those hurts that's when you really can move forward okay going back to the message that came out pretty much at the start with the oracle card is a message of surrender and release what the tarot is trying to tell you Leo or, or you know suggest to you tell is not really a great word um, is that it is time to surrender I mean look at the four of pentacles and the eight of swords here they show somebody who is stuck who is holding on who is contracting and keeping themselves small so it's time to release and get back into the flow of life again. The person in the Eight of Swords has sometimes fallen into the victim mentality or their mind is kind of getting the better of them and they're feeling trapped because of their own limitations. And when we kind of get stuck in the mind or stuck in the victim mentality or our self-confidence, self-belief starts to dwindle, what happens is that our intuition and the wisdom of the body starts shutting down. That's why we see this person bound around that third eye, the heart, the gut, which are our intuitive centers. So the idea is that we want to come out of the, the mind and the limitations and, and drop back into the body, back into the intuition. The Four of Pentacles also shows me, I mean, both of these cards together really indicate that there has been maybe a, an impact on your self-esteem and self-confidence. And it's really time now to get your sense of value and quality back to restabilize yourself start building a, a new foundation and really ground yourself that can be the four of pentacles energy and sometimes we need to loosen our grip on the past that's kind of the, the key message here and temperance is that angel that wants to guide you she is the great soothing energy who follows on from the death energy to help you emotionally rebalance to become stable secure in you know mental emotional and physical health and it's when you've kind of moved from the three of swords through into the temperance energy that the path forward starts to reveal so you know temperance really wants to guide you forward here leo 
These are really perfect cards that I'm doing a great job of messing up. Anyway, I'm coming over here to these cards here. I'm going to include this one as well because you're so close, Leo. Look, you know, you might have been sitting in a reversed nine for a little while. I'm thinking, you know, sitting in that hurt. But this says you're so close. You're so close. The two number nines, so close to making a big step towards your wish fulfillment. Ten of Swords needs to happen. That is the final ending. Yeah, like there might be another quite painful thing that needs to happen, right? Like Ten of Swords endings can be difficult. They are painful. There can be betrayal. There can be deception. There can be burnout. There can be fatigue. All of those things. As soon as we've ripped that band-aid off, you know, the lightness comes to eclipse this really heavy, dense energy. And it's saying that the Nine of Cups is behind this. Hey, you might not get there in the space of the week. You know, this is not going to unfold for most of you in that time. But it's saying that this is a milestone on the path to wish fulfillment. Nine of Cups is that joy, love, and harmony, but it comes to the person who's worked for it by going through these cycles and stepping closer and closer by moving away to move towards. So that's the journey, Leo. It's about getting back into the flow of life after maybe sitting in this grief for a period of time. Okay, Leo, I'm going to leave it there and I do hope you enjoyed this reading. Do keep in mind it's a general reading for the collective. It won't be everyone's story this week and it won't play out for everyone in the space of a week either and that's absolutely okay. Feel free to leave me a comment. I do read each and every one and um, try to respond to as many as I can. It helps me get to know you guys and connect with your energies and I'll see you back here next week for another weekly reading. Mm -hmm.